What is up everybody, it is Yo Spy here and today I will be walking you through how to color a movie scene in Vegas Pro 19. Okay, so the clip I'm going to be working with here is a clip from a short film that I shot recently. And it's not a short film that I shot that will be coming out in the near future. So just, you know, be on the lookout for that. But I will also have the download link to this short little clip if you want to follow along the tutorial. Uh, you know, it'll be the raw clip without the color. So you can follow along and color with me if you would like. But I'll also just have, you know, if you want to follow along with whatever clip you want to color, you can do that as well. So um, the first thing we're going to be adding is something called Magic Bullet Film. It comes in the Magic Bullet Suite. I recommend you get that. It's a really good plugin. It had a lot of cool, helpful stuff. And I kind of, I probably use this, you know, this effect right here more than I use anything else when I'm editing because, you know, I color all my footage. So um, yeah, just, you know, it's just really helpful to have. So the first thing we're going to do is add on the default here. And um, we have a lot of you know, little knobs we could play with, but um, the first thing you might notice is that it says my footage is flat, video, or log. I never really use log too much. I usually just mess with flat or video. And I don't really pay attention to if my video is really those things, uh, cause you know, it doesn't really matter. I just think, you know, like I know when you add video, it kind of less contrast. When you have flat, it's just a little bit more contrast. And like I said, I don't really use log that much. But um, so yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it's really that important. But um, what this does is adds like film stock onto your um, onto your footage so that you can use that to color it. And um, the first thing I you can do when you add this on is remove the grain because I don't really want that like super film look, that like old school film look. If you're going for that, you can keep the grain on. But it also the grain isn't very strong anyway. I recommend you add grain using another plugin if you have one. So, um, but yeah, you can just for the most part you can usually just turn it off. That's usually what I do. Then. Um, so the next thing you want to, the thing I'm gonna say is that like when I added, when I add this on, I usually don't keep the strength at a hundred because I like subtlety in my effects, so I don't really like it being so like I guess hard on the clip. But for this clip, I kept it at a hundred because I don't like I didn't like the natural color on it at all, so I just wanted to change it completely. So I'll keep it at a hundred. And then um, so the the first thing you want to do is after you you know, see if you want the grain or you know you change the strength if you you um, you want to check the, the pick the stock you want. And you could play around with these, you know, pick whichever one you think fits the best. I know the double X stocks are black and white, if you know that's something you're going for. But um, what I noticed when I was making this is that the um, Fujifilm uh, Rila 500D, this looked best for the clip um, I was using. It just kind of made the colors look more natural, so that's what I'm going to use for this. And for the print stock, you can just, you know, mess around with that as well. But I'm going to keep it at the default Kodak 2383 for right now. And um, the first thing I'm going to change about this is the clip is very red and I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm just going to change the color temperature and make that a negative probably like 19 or 20 just because it, you know, I don't want it to be super red looking. The next thing I'm going to change for this clip specifically, but you can also, you know, mess with the tint if you want the exposure too. I didn't really mess the exposure too much on this, but you can mess around and play with that for your clip if you would like. I'm going to change the the contrast next because it's very dark. Just, you know, a lot of shadows on. So I'm going to make the contrast negative 14. I think that's I think that's pretty good. And the next thing I'm going to um, affect is the saturation just because it looks a little gray. I'm just going to put this up. I think I had it at about 114 when I was editing this. And um, OK, I'm liking this. And um, that's pretty much it for what we're going to be what we're going to be doing for this clip. But like I said, if you want to just mess around with the other stuff, vintage, modern, kind of like just changes. Like I said, the like the saturation or just it looks a little bit more flat when it's on vintage, and looks a little bit darker when it's on modern. I usually mess with vintage a lot because I like that look. But um, for this clip, I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for this part. The next thing we're going to add is some um, color grading. And if you don't know how to add that, that is a new, I believe a new, like I think it came out in Vegas, I think like 18. It's a new uh, uh, thing you can add in Vegas. So you just make sure your clip is selected. Then you want to come down here and it'll pop up color grading. You can also hit Alt G to make it on your keyboard to, um, to pop up. So we're going to click this and it looks pretty complicated at first, but it's usually not that hard. I'm going to get rid of the trimmer here because I don't need it. Then um, what we're going to be messing with is the, um, it usually starts off on color wheels. And then, but I'm gonna change it to um, RL color wheels, like right here. And first, thing I'm gonna change it to midtones because I still want to get some of that red out of there. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of blue, just move it over here a little bit. 
just make it look a little bit more bluer and i'm also going to up the, the saturation over here just again because it's a little it's pretty subtle on the film effect that we added so i'm just going to do it a little bit more over here i'll put it to about 110 i think that's good and then now we're going to come back to the color wheels which is usually where it starts out on i know we don't need to go to color wheels you can go to the color curves right here and then um so we're just gonna up the up it over here because that just just brings up the highlights a little bit more just probably make it a little bit higher and then we're gonna darken it over here just kind of make like an s that's a little too dark but i'll just up the highlights a little bit more like this okay that's a pretty that's a pretty good color and then uh, so that just you know it just makes it look a little bit more natural when it's like this it just you know at the post it was before i'll just do the difference real quick gonna hit X, X out of this and then when you go to the effects panel here it just looks a little more natural because that's really dark and it just kind of just brings it to life more when you add the color grading so um that's basically it for the color grading the next thing we're going to add is some brightness contrast these are both uh, color grading and brightness contrast are both just regular Vegas Pro effects I'm just going to add this on here the default and um, we're just gonna I'm gonna lower the um, the brightness just a tad maybe like negative seven something really subtle and then we're just gonna up the contrast to about I'll make it about 42 and then now we have a pretty nice looking color here just look a lot more natural than what it did before I'll just show you it versus the original this is the original color and then this is what we added just look a little bit more natural I'm just gonna maybe fix these uh, highlights here on the color curves oh wrong button I think they're a little too bright and then I'm going to also up the saturation just a little bit more and now we have a pretty natural looking clip here like see what it like it's not that hard color grading is mo color grading is mostly just playing around with it playing around with the settings to get it to your liking it also depends on what you're going for like this is just i want to go for like a really natural kind of chill vibe for this kind of color because you know that's the style of the film like you'll if you ever if you actually see the film you actually understand why i went with this color but um so that's basically it for color grading you know it's just a, mostly just playing around with it getting it to your liking and just learning like what the tools of the the software you're using are and just you know knowing what affects what also lastly after you finish your color and you get it to your liking what you can do is you can save it like you can save all these effects here so you can add it on to other clips that you have like in the time like other scenes that are like in the same area so you know it it'll be um like consistent so what you want to do is you want to hit the plus sign over here the f plus right here and then um you want to go i'm already in like my folder for it but i'll show you again there you start off usually start off here but what you want to go to is uh i believe it's filter packages it filter the filter packages folder which is where your um personal effects are so then you just want to hit save as and then you can just call it whatever you want you know i guess you know film color hit enter and then you can just click on it like this and then you can add it later to whatever clip you want to add it to you can also save it as a lut too which i don't really use as much but you can also just do the same thing call it whatever and save it and then you can add it to other softwares too if you would like to so um, that is basically it for this tutorial guys i hope you're able to learn something i plan on making some other tutorials in the future about like filmmaking how to put like a scene together how to like edit and, you know when to cut certain things like that and you know some audio things i also plan to make some tutorials in um, after effects too so you know be on the lookout for those but i um, hope you enjoyed and if you have any other tutorials you want me to make just let me know in the comments and i also just released my 2021 film reel so check that out there's a lot of good work in there and i think it's one of my best film reels ever made so just you know check it out real quick if you want to see my work you know together because i don't really post a lot of my work here a lot of my work is posted by like the artists youtube channels and you know things like that so um, if you want to see my work you can just check out my film reel and um thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next time